so excited for our workout today. We have a lot of new exercises to do, which is always fun. Uh, and today's episode of Katsu Live at Home is a mobility and flexibility centric workout. So, so it's going to be really different. There we go. That's a better camera. Uh, it's going to be really different. Uh, because today is just on opening up the body and increasing our range of motion. So do your best. A lot of these exercises are really weird and require a fair amount of flexibility. So we'll work it through it together and it'll be great. Happy Friday. All right, come on up to stand. We're gonna start with some of our shoulder stuff that we tend to do on Fridays, just to increase shoulder mobility. Um, a few of the upper body exercises are gonna be familiar. We also have a few new ones and then we'll really switch it up when we get lower body. Our intervals today are a full minute. We want to take time and work really slowly through everything that we're doing. But to start, extend your arms out, up, left palm to face down, squeeze it out, four, three, two, and, and switch. Rotate the opposite direction, extending through the fingertips, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Two more. Rotate. Drop the wrist a little bit so we can let that blood start to pull. Eight, seven. Squeeze more. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Rotate. Squeeze. This should burn. It should be intense. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Awesome. Arms out in front of you. We're making a box shape with our shoulders, with the arms straight. No bend in the elbows. We go up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward. Keep working through it. Range of motion in the scapulas. Yes, that's it. Warming up. Give me three more. Nice. Last two. And final one. Good. Last shoulder warm-up drill. Arms up like a cactus. Right hand drops down to the floor. Left hand presses back behind you. Give me eight, seven. Squeeze it. Six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Second part of our first set, we have two. Squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze and switch. Last set. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Rotate. Try and spread the fingers wide so it's about the shoulders, not the hands. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. First exercise of the day are wrist circles. Make fists keeping the base of your forearms facing up the entire time so the elbows in. We have a minute of circling the wrist around. We're only going to do this one one time. So hop on in, get those forearms firing. Cycles are going, let's do it. And while you're working through this, I want you to look down and make sure that no part of your arms, your upper body is moving except for the hands at the wrist joint. Nice. Good. At the halfway mark, we'll switch directions. Otherwise, keep circling the way you're circling. Fans are working. We're going. Good. If you want to take these slower, work the forearms even more, make a bigger range of motion, I highly encourage it. We're going to switch in five, four, three, two, opposite direction, circles. Don't let those forearms move at all. Work through that range. Whoa. Fans are working. Yes, this is it. Last 20 seconds. Forms really want to shift and wiggle. Don't let them do it. Nice. Looking down the whole time. Watching. See if you can make that circle even bigger. Squeeze your fist. Work into it. Last 10. Woo. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Awesome job. All right. We've got one minute of the next couple exercises, and we're going to do them twice in a row. 
The first one is tricep extension, pull, lower. Reach back, pulls in, lower. Keep those arms straight the whole time. One minute, let's go. Extend the fingertips back. Squeeze, lower. Back, squeeze, lower. And if you want to make this even more challenging, don't drop your arms low. Keep those muscles in a contracted state the whole time. Yeah, that's it. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Back, squeeze, partway lower. Back, squeeze, partway lower. Awesome. Nice. And a whole minute of these is going to get hard as you're doing it. Think about creating space across the chest, pulling the shoulders back behind you. Nice. We're half done. Good. We're preparing the muscles of the chest with this stretchy part of our tricep extension for the exercise we're going to do after this. Mm -hmm. Back. Squeeze. Lower, last 20 seconds. Really work into it. Keep those fingers nice and wide. Yes, that's it. If you want to take it slower, by all means, you can. Give me 10. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and wow. Wow, wow, wow. My arms are starting to turn a slightly darker color. That's exactly what we want. All right. 10 more seconds, we're gonna jump right into the second set, then we're gonna move on to our next exercise. All right, here we go, setting up. I like to take a little bend in my knees just because I'm not locking out my spine and I'm making sure that I'm not compensating by bending back. A little bend, engage the core, one minute, here we go. Back, press, halfway lower, back, press, halfway lower, awesome job. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down and see who's on the Zoom today. Instagrammers, keep going, great job. Nice. Full time you're doing it, keep pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Kate and Quentin are on today. What a treat. Hi, guys. Awesome. Good. Nice. Now, see if you can make that range a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. Move a little bit slower. Good. Back. Press and down. Last 20 seconds. Whew. That's it. Spread the fingers even wider. Use every muscle in the back of the arm. To get them up. Last 10. Good. At the top on this one, we're going to lift and hold. Five, four, three, two. Lift and hold. Little clap behind the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold that tension. Pulse it up. Eight, seven. I know. Six, five, four. Three, two, and wow. All right. Very different move for our next one. Go ahead and move everything around, shake it out. Grab water whenever you feel like you need to. We are not doing our cardio today, so sometimes I forget to remind people to grab water. So just grab it when it feels right. All right. Next maneuver is a reverse palms together press back. So the full extension of this exercise looks like this. I bring my palms together behind my back, and I press out, out. And as you do this, your back's gonna wanna bend. Don't let it. It's all about the rotation at the shoulder joint, the contraction of the shoulder blades and the opening across the spine. If you can't come into reverse palms together or reverse prayer, you can always bring your fists together, knuckles behind the back. So make your way into some variation of that. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone under so the spine can't get involved. One minute, press. Press. Yes. Good. Opening up across the shoulders, strengthening the back of the body. It's a weird one, but here's why we're doing this. Keep going. I'll demonstrate why. In our daily lives, we've talked about this a lot. We sit like this. We hunch, we round, and we don't engage these muscles enough. By doing this, we're activating the back of the body and creating space across the front of it. And if you can't bring your palms together behind your back today, that's something to think about to work towards. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core even more. Half done. Press, press. Good. Keep it up. Woo! Gets hard after a little bit. Open, open. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Squeeze, 
squeeze. Give me 10. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll everything out, shake it out. All right, for our second set, same thing, either bringing your fists together or bringing your palms together. The higher you slide your palms up your back, the harder this is gonna be. So find a position. It's weird, I know, it's also important. The weirder it feels, the more we probably have to do it. One minute, let's go, press. Press, yes, that's it. And this is a smaller exercise. A lot of what we're gonna be doing involves the whole body. So really taking this opportunity to focus on only the upper body and only the shoulders and chest. Good, grow a little bit taller from the top of your head, press. That's it. Nice. Half done. Ooh, it is toasty in Los Angeles today. I wonder what it's like wherever you guys are. I think it's probably pretty warm across the country, seeing that we're in August already. Press. Press. Awesome. Last 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. For our last 10, we're going to pull back and pulse it. So pull the elbows back as far as you can. Baby pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, use your core. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Weird feeling stuff. Grab a sip of water if you want. After this, we're coming into a forearm lateral lift to X shoulder extension. So we're coming down into our forearm plank. We do a lateral lift. So I reach my left arm up, fully extend the arm out. Bend into the elbow, drop it down. Other side, right arm lift, extend, bend, and lower. So we're working into the shoulders in that forearm plank. Yes, it is a full minute of work in plank, and that is exactly what we're going for. If you need to pause in forearm plank, that's fine. Go ahead and set yourself up in forearm plank. One minute, we're going in four, three, two. Let's go. Left arm up. Extend out slowly, fully lengthen the arm, bend, release, switch sides, lift that arm up high to the side, extend, bend in, and release. Keep working side to side. Yes, squeezing the back of the shoulder to lift that arm up as high as you can, lengthening out from the fingertips to get into the shoulder extension. Keep going. We're already halfway done. Time flies when you're moving through a range of motion. Great. Great job, Zoom. Great job, Instagram. A whole minute of playing. That's not easy stuff. You guys look so good. Dan's got a friend today. Jim looks amazing. Last 13 seconds. Awesome. Yes. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and everybody drop your knees, pull your butt back to your heels, take a quick child pose to rest, and getting the hips used to being in this position, because we're going to incorporate this into one of our next exercises. All right, start to shift forward, step yourself back into plank, second minute in three, Two, one, I lift, extend, bend, return. Lift, fully extend, bend, and return. Keep working through it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. This is more about our mobility, working through our joints and flexibility. The next exercise will work into more of that flexibility. Half done. Nice job, Ty. Awesome. We got a strong crew here today. Georgia, like your backdrop. <laughs> awesome. And last 12 seconds. Oh, these look great. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody grab some water, take a sip. 
and we will do our last upper body exercise of the day. Those are great. So upper body is always interesting because the big joint in the upper body is the sh are the shoulders. So we just did a lot of work around the shoulders. Um, other weeks we've done work around the neck, but today we really focused on the shoulders, so it looks great. Now, let's build a little bit of upper body strength while we work through a range of motion, so upper body and lower body. So I make my way into tabletop position. I extend my left leg out to the side in line with my hip. And what we're going to do is we're going to press all the way back, shift forward, narrow push up, down, and up. Now, what I don't want to see is the elbows flying out to the side. I want you to keep the elbows tucked into the body so they're like two arrows shooting right back behind you. Then we press up. We shift back, forward, down, and up. That's the move. So we're going to do 30 seconds per side. So go ahead and make your way into tabletop position. Extend your left leg out to the left. Come onto the inner edge of the foot. And let's take 30 seconds and work through it. Here we go. We shift back as far as you can go. Shift forward, straight spine, down, and up. Back, forward, down, and up. Keep going. And as you shift back, really focus on getting your butt back to your heel, allowing the body to open up as a transition to start to think about working from upper body to lower body work. Awesome. We're already half done with this side. Good. And on those push-ups, I like them. The spine is staying straight. We're not rounding out. Everyone has great form. I love it. Last five. Four, three, and two. Go ahead and set the left knee down. Let's switch sides. Right leg extends out to the side. Inner edge of the foot. Time is rolling. Here we go. Shift back, forward, narrow push-up, down, and up. All the way back, forward, down, and up. Keep going. These 30-second intervals are really nice after that whole minute. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. I love it. Yes, last 10 seconds. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in the whole time. Don't let them play out to the side. Bodily control, really working the triceps again. Last five. Four, three, and two. Everyone drop your right knee. We're on hands and knees. Let's work into the spine a bit, and then we'll swap out our bands and have the question of the day. So taking the right hand to the back of the head. As you inhale, find contact, right elbow, left elbow. Exhale, open it up to the right. We've got 30 seconds. Inhale, elbow to elbow. Exhale, open it up, use your core, get wide. Keep rolling, this looks great. All right, my hips stay stacked over my knees the whole time. And you can build strength here by engaging your core, using your obliques to help get deeper into this twist. So it doesn't have to be just flopping the arms around. Last five. Give me one more. Four. Three. Two. Go ahead and set the hand down. Left hand comes behind the head. 30 seconds. Other side. Elbow to elbow. Open it up. Work towards stacking the shoulders. Pressing the right hand into the floor. Pressing the right hand down so much that you're pushing the floor away. Mm -hmm. Good. Why is this important? Because we're humans and we twist our spines in our daily movement. You reach across, you grab something. Not even including if you're playing sports. Just things we do. Last 15 seconds. Nice. Get a little bit deeper into it. Open it up even more. Use your core. Uh, and this is specifically targeting our thoracic mid-upper back, which is hard to twist without coming into a specific position that isolates it. Five, four, three, and two. Nice job. Everyone drop your hands. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet the feet and roll up to stand. Let's swap out our armbands for our leg bands and have our question of the day. Great job, guys. So that was fun. And now it's about to get even weirder. <laughs> so our question of the day is, 
what is one goal you have for the month of August? Please feel free to share. And if you don't have a goal, think of a goal, make up a goal. It's important to have goals. He says, finish a comprehensive online education program for Katsu users. Yes, amazing. It's going to be huge. Yes, I love this. Steve, actually, will you unmute for a second and explain that? <laughs> Give everyone like a one minute yes. teaser reel of what's coming. So everybody will be able to go online to Katsu.com and see videos, photos, text and explanations of how to optimally use katsu for every kind of application from strength building to recovering from a uh, injury and surgery and so um, hopefully we have a lot of information online but it's not very organized and it's sort of scattered so we're trying to make everything organized more fun more visual and hope you all enjoy it love it because they didn't have the battle and people have even come to me before and said, this device is amazing. I'm so overwhelmed because there's so much that I can do with it. I don't even know where to start. So that's really, that's really exciting. Also, it's fun to show people like this is the thing I'm using and this is how you use it and just send them to that point. All right. Gabe and Quinton say for their goals, I'm not sure who is which, but make junior nationals in a meet before September. Ooh. Um, what, what stroke? What are we swimming? Mary says, improve in katsu and keep getting stronger. I like it. Consider quantifying what does improve mean to you? Just putting that out there. <laughs> All right, any other goals? Mm -hmm. All right, I think one of mine would be Go on another camping, backpacking, outdoor adventure. I just went on one, and I think it helps me stay really sane <laughs> to get outside. Gabe and Clinton say 400 IM for Clinton and 200 freestyle for Gabe. Awesome, guys. I hope you can do it. Please report back and let us know if you make nationals, because that would be huge, and we would all be so proud. Jim says, continue housework, ready to sell. Whoa, that's exciting. Mary says, learn as much as I can. I like it. These are all great goals. And they don't have to be around fitness. A goal is a goal. It doesn't matter. All right. Legs are on. So let's do some calf work. About a minute. A minute. Just to get our calves woken up. Smaller muscles always come first. Uh, and then we're going to work into some stuff kind of like on our hands and feet all at one time. So the warm-up today is just our one minute of heel lift. And if you'd like to challenge yourself even more, you can do the heels up, butt down and up to work into that range of motion in your legs, okay? So when you're ready, everyone, I'm gonna start my time now. Just start working through it. Good, and let's play with this, might as well. Get those heels up, start to drop down, and lift up. And yes, this is strength. But this is also mobility work. Why? Because my ankles have to be mobile enough to allow myself to drop down and up. Good. So our warm up, either heel lift or heels stay up and we lower and lift the rest of the body. Last 20 seconds. Nice. There we go. I love it. Good. Last 10. Ooh, looks good. One more round, whatever you're doing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay. Brand new exercise. Work with me. It's going to seem very bizarre. There's modifications for every level of flexibility. I bend my knees enough to bring my hands down to the floor. I take my right hand to my left foot, ankle, or shin. I bend down, get as low as I can, press back up. I drop down, press back up. That's the exercise, okay? So let's set up together. Looks ridiculous. It's hard. It's hard, okay? 
So bending the knees enough so that you can reach fingertips into the floor. Take your right hand to your left foot, ankle, or shin. All right, now, as you bend into the knee, get low, hover, press all the way up. 30 seconds, here we go. Down and up. Lower and lift. Keep going, guys. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me where on your foot, ankle, or shin you grab with that right hand as long as you have something in contact. What the heck are we doing here? We're building strength as we drop down, mobility, bodily control. And as we press our hips up, we are increasing our flexibility a whole lot because we're actively forcing that hamstring to lengthen. Half done. Lengthen, not lengthen. Good. Drop down, press up. Good, last 10 seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and release. Forward fold. We're gonna go right to the other side. We're gonna do two rounds of this. Right hand roots into the floor. Grab your right foot, ankle, shin, something with your left hand. All right, 30 seconds, here we go. Drop down, hover, press up. Down and all the way up keep going Woo! i love it yes half done try and get that leg as straight as you can on the press up keeping your fingertips rooted into the floor the whole time and if you let your fingertips lift that's cheating that's compensating last five four three two and one, good, all right, come on up to stand. That was great, we're gonna work into it again, okay? Hands down to the floor, bend the knees. Take your right hand, grab your left foot. 30 seconds, here we go. Hover it, press up. Hover and lift, keep it up. Oh, this looks fantastic. Good, remember your bottom hand can move to be closer to the body. Mm -hmm. You got it, Ty, you got it. Last 10. Then we're gonna go right into the other side. Drop that knee even lower as you've been into it. Five, four, three, two, switch it up. Left hand, right foot, final set. Here we go, down. Press, hover, lift, that's it. And you can be looking down at the ground the entire time, totally cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. See if you can press yourself up even higher as you extend through the standing leg. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release great job hands across the chest five good mornings to release the hamstrings even more mm -hmm. yes give me three more this next exercise we're going to work into our hip rotation this might be easy for some, it might be hard for some, but no matter what your level is, it's important to do this stuff. So try to do your best. If you get discouraged, I guarantee you we've all been there. So we start seated. We rotate both knees over to the right, press up. Drop down, rotate both over to the left, press up. No hands. Better yet, take them behind your head, reach them up. So. Start seated, root the feet into the floor, arms either behind the head or up. We have one minute going side to side. Drop both knees over to the right, press up, come down, over to the left, press, keep working through it. Yeah. That's it. Woo! Keep going. These look great.
Nice, Dan. Good. Good. As you're doing it, keep those arms nice and straight. Try not to bend at the elbows to compensate. I love it. Working through that range of motion, external and internal rotation of the hip socks. And if you need to use your hands, worst things have happened. As you press up, squeeze your hips. Awesome, Ty. Last 20 seconds. Great. Great, great, great. We're priming ourselves for an exercise we're going to do later on in our practice. Try and keep your arms on the floor. Arms even straighter. Last 10. Good. Give me five, four. Three, two, and rest. Everyone come on up and stand for a minute so we can let that blood pool a little bit more. Rock your hips side to side. We're going to do that one more time. All right. That looks fairly manageable for most people, which makes me really happy. And if it's super hard for you, good. That's why we're doing it. Okay. So let's make our way back down. Second set. You want to make it even harder, clasp your hands. Keep your hands clasped the whole time. This time we're going to drop both these to the left. One minute, here we go. Rotate, press the hips forward, come back down. Rotate, press, keep working through it. <laughs> yes, amazing. Ty, that looks so great. Good. And you don't have to keep your hands up if you need your hands to work through it. That's okay. We want to try not to use our hands. But if we have to, it's not the end of the world. We're practicing. Good. Great, great, great. Half done. Nice. Good. Really pressing the hips forward as we come up, engaging the glutes. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Woo! Go, Jeff, go. I like it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come up to stand. Let that blood pool again and rock the hips side to side. Good job. All right. Next up, we're going plank, frog, squat. What? Yes, I'll show you. We're going plank. Frog, squat, plank, frog, squat. Hands come off the floor, okay? So I'd like to see you jump up into that squat. If you need to step up, you can. Frog, squat, but wherever you are in that squat, get your hands off the floor, and you can either step or jump back into plank. So let's set up together. We'll roll through. We got a full minute. We got time. Here we go. Come on down to plank. Step the feet wider than hips distance. I'm going to start the time now. One minute. We have plank. Press back into frog. Get your butt low and either hip hop or step up. Frog. Squat. Sorry. Yes. Plank. Frog. Squat. Keep going. That's it. See how the Instagrams are doing? Awesome. Good. As you press back into frog, get your butt super low to the ground, working into that hip and ankle mobility. Squat, hands come off the floor. Half done. Amazing. Yes, Jim. Yes, that's it. Woo. Good. Last 20 seconds. Plank. Frog, get your butt really low. Awesome dance. Squat, hands up. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Everyone drop your knees to rest. Great job. So we're really working into our hip mobility here. That's a big thing. Uh, and even the ankle mobility as we press back into frog. All right. We got our second set. We have 10 seconds. Let's start to set ourselves up into the plank. Good. We're going in four, three, two. Let's go. Plank, frog, squat. Plank, 
frog. Squat. Keep it up. <laughs> nice. Get those hands up. Maybe on your squat, you can get your arms up and overhead if you're feeling extra spicy today. I'll jump on in and keep rolling with you. I think these are really fun. Yes. Half done. On that squat, get those arms all the way up. Why not? Challenge your shoulders as well. Whew, these are great. Last 20 seconds. Then we're going to have a sip of water, and then we have two more exercises. Good. Last 10. Arms up on that squat. Get them high. Five, four, three, two. Everybody up. Stand. Good job. Guys, on that um, frog to squat, that jump part, everyone's getting up into squat and keeping their hands up. It looks really great. I like that a lot. All right. Now, we practiced this move earlier on with our knees going side to side and pressing ourselves up. Now we're going to work into our hips even more to press ourselves up. So the move is I cross my feet, I come down. I come up. <laughs> if you can't do it, just try it. You can always use your hands. I switch sides, cross my feet. I come down. I come up. Okay. Now I'm moving really fast. So as I step up, I kind of have to compensate. I would highly encourage moving slower and working through that range of motion. And you're alternating right foot, left foot. Okay. One minute, do whatever variation of this you can. You can't lose as long as you're trying. Here we go. Right foot in front of left. Come down, work slowly into it. Press yourself all the way up. Switch sides when you're ready. Work it down. Work it up. That's the move. Keep going. It's gonna be super wobbly. That's what we're going for. Heck yeah. I'm really happy. I see people doing it. I see people doing the whole version of it. Great. And I see people trying. That's what matters. Oh, great, Jam. Hi. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We nailed this one. Last 20 seconds. Now, see if you can slow the whole thing down. And maybe you can even do it with hands behind the head. Last 10. We have that. Four, three, two, and rest. I'm gonna type my band. Feel free to take a sip of water. We're gonna do that one more time. If you want to challenge yourself more on this round, because you guys knocked this one out of the park, I did not expect us to do so well with this. And I'm really proud. That's great. You can do it with hands behind the head, or you can do it with arms straight up. Okay? Try one of those. Even if you try it and you're not able to do it, at least you know something that you have to work towards, to work towards or work towards. Either way, we're moving forward. All right. This time, same version or hands behind the head or arms straight up. Cross right leg over left. One minute, here we go. Lower down into it. Rise on up. And switch. And down. And up. Keep going. <laughs> Ridiculous bits of exercise. We probably never thought would count as exercise, but they do because we're going stronger and we're working our hips in such a healthy way. Yes, a good Friday indeed. Mm -hmm. Awesome, last 20 seconds. Then we have our final move of the day and then we'll stretch it out. Yes, you can do two more, last 10. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Water all around. Look good. Also means we have a very high level of core control. That is definitely always necessary for these exercises that involve getting the body up and down. So I am very pleased to see how mobile we are. This is making my day. All right. Last exercise until we work into our stretching portion. We're going to grab this time, same foot, same hand. So I grab my right foot and my right hand. I kick it, sorry, foot into opposite hand. I kick it over, drop down, come back up to stand. So foot into opposite hand. I drop down and up, switch side. Left foot into right hand, I'll do it facing forward. I drop down, press back up. Go as far as you can. If you can't grab your foot, grab your calf, grab something, okay? We're gonna go side to side, one minute. So go ahead and come into that forward fold. Grab your right foot with your left hand, as you bend into the other knee, come down, drop your hips, and then press back up, switch sides. Foot into hand, drop the hip, press back up, switch sides. Technical, yes, yes. <laughs> awesome, Jim. Work slow, be patient. This is our last one of the day. Our last exercise, we have one more round after this. So oh, great. Last 25 seconds. Nice, Ty. If you have your foot in your hand, see if you can keep it in your hand the whole time you do the exercise. It's a lot of bodily control to do this. You guys look really good. Mm-hmm. All right, we've got our last 10. See if you can do one more round. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. So we're gonna do the same thing again. There's nothing you can really do differently to make this one harder, except maybe work slower through it. Um, but other than that, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up. Last minute of work today, then we do our stretches. Coming down into a forward fold, grab your right foot with your left hand, drop down, get the hips low, press back up, and switch. We are going. We are actively lengthening our hamstrings, engaging our core, and actually working our spine through a range of motion as we do this on that twist. Woo! When did we get so flexible? I had no idea. I'm gonna have to make these, these stretch exercises even harder next time. Making it look easy, gang. Great, half done. Good. So happy. All right, we've got 15 more seconds. Keep working through it. Yes, Dan, amazing. In 10, we're gonna come up to stand and work into our stretching. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up. Great job, step the feet wide. Just cause we're stretching does not mean we are not going to work. Hands behind the head. Start to drop alternating elbows side to side. Really get those elbows all the way over towards your thighs. Open up the lats, open up the hips, the whole side of the body. Good. And as we do this, that top shoulder is going to want to fall. Keep pressing the elbows back. Nice. Four more. Mm 
not still. And this kind of is our core today because our core has to contract to pull the body back up through center, last one. Now, keeping the hands behind the head, rotate over to the right leg, hinge forward, flat back, come back up, rotate over to the left, hinge over that leg, flat back, come back up. We have four more. Keep your spine straight the whole time. Don't let it round. Three. Last two. And final one. Good, come back through center. Drop the right hand down the leg. Reach the left arm up and over. Work all the way into it. That was active stretching. Now we have more passive stretching. Let everything hang. <sighs> Breathe into the left side of the body. Nice. Two more breaths. Woo. Now start to drop that left hand down, framing the leg forward, fold over to the right. Let your forehead drop down towards the leg. Let the top of the head drop down towards the floor. Let everything hang and be heavy, but still keep those legs straight and active, pulling the mat in opposite directions with your heels. No more breath. Roll on up to stand. Let's work into the other side. Left hand down the leg, reach up and over, get into the side body. Make sure we're not sagging. Open up the shoulder, pulling your top ribs back and your bottom ribs forward. And we breathe. And after your next breath, go ahead and drop that right hand down, framing the left leg. We've got about 30 seconds here, letting the upper body pull us deeper into the stretch. Shake the head, yes. And then roll on up to stand. Clasp the hands behind the back. Lift them up and off the back of the body. Pull the shoulders together. Lift and pull through it without letting the spine move. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands. Reach them up. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring them down, hands come together, round of applause. Nice job, guys. I was very surprised to see how flexible and mobile everyone was, and that was great news. Good job. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Go Gator.